Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I am over the moon and excited to share with you some amazing Dollar Tree goodies. Everything is only $1. They are putting out some incredible finds for Christmas. I can't wait to share with you guys. We're gonna be crafting, decorating on a total budget as usual. Hey, if you're new, welcome. I'm Olivia, Olivia's Romantic Home, and I love to share with you guys so many budget-friendly ideas for crafting and decorating. So consider subscribing to this YouTube channel, punch that bell, we'll update you every time I post a new video. Follow me over on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. We are gonna craft and decorate at the best this season. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into these awesome Dollar Tree finds. Okay, you guys know I love Dollar Tree signs and gnomes. I think they're so adorable, so cozy, and for only a buck, you guys can't go wrong. You can sprinkle them throughout your house and get so holiday cheerful. But this one says, I'll be gnome for Christmas. How adorable is that? Look at this cute little gnome. He is so darn stinking cute. And it has the little red and black buffalo check plaid around it. So you guys really can't go wrong with that. I, to me, feel like buffalo check plaid is super cozy. Um, I did a whole bunch of it about two years ago. I still have a whole bunch of it. And I still like to decorate in and around my home to just make things feel cozy. I'm also gonna be doing gingerbread and candy cane themes. So I can't wait to share with you guys how I'm decorating this season. <laughs> And then speaking of buffalo check plaid, how adorable are these super, super cute placemats? What? <laughs> they must be hearing and speaking my language because seriously, these are adorable. They're really pretty well made. Now I haven't laundered them. That could be a problem. Sometimes, you know, when you get placemats, um, they're a laundry problem, but these are out in just the regular Dollar Tree kitchen section right now. I got enough to set my table with them and I got enough to craft with. So just a couple here and there. But you guys think about this, so easy to make a cute little throw pillow. All you have to do is hot glue those or sew them together. Um, and then there's a whole set of other goodies that go along with it. So Dollar Tree also brought the, back the red and black buffalo check plaid, which I absolutely love. And I have to share with you guys these super cute little booty snuggadoo slip how cute are these? Now this is a dish drying mat, which if you guys are like me and you have a lot of holiday guests over, you're gonna need a dish drying mat and you can use them for multiple purposes, I promise. The other two cute little new tea towels that I grabbed, which I had a set of these last year, but I know I used them and they got pretty faded. I will tell you they're not the best, like as far as when you wash them and dry them multiple times, they get really faded. But this one says Winter Wishes, which I didn't have a Winter Wishes one from last year. And then I did have the Deck the Halls, but I think these are really super, cute again so so cozy i feel like to me buffalo check plaid can mix in with any christmas decor so you guys could use traditional and pop some of this in you guys could use gingerbread and pop some of this in it's just so cozy and homey in my personal opinion <laughs> and then to go along with this i went ahead and grabbed a set of the little hot pads i'm dreaming of a white christmas is what this one says and they both say i'm dreaming of a white christmas so it's nice to kind of refresh your kitchen if you guys think about it um, um, especially when you're having guests over and it kind of puts me more in the mood to cook like when I queued up my kitchen put out some cute towels and then you're good to go <laughs> and then speaking of cute how adorable are these oversized tag signs listen these are so stinking adorable this one says peace love and joy it has a little Santa Claus on it and then a holiday um, cheer with a beautiful little snowman so if you guys like some of these themes and you're using snowman or Santa Claus theme and then look at the little cute penguin oh my goodness hello winter i absolutely love all three of these so darn stinking cute and for only a buck you guys can't go wrong <laughs> some other cute little ornaments that i had to share with you guys that are new to our store are this kind of fluffy i don't think that this is a gnome but he's like a little kind of funny country santa claus i thought he was super cute and then check out the little gnome on the skis i have this guy um with the little red hat and then i've already shared with you guys the little guy that i found that had little striped hats but these are so darn adorable if you guys are into the gnomes you're gonna love what dollar tree is putting out they're also putting out a four pack pack of these little mini gnomes, which you guys know me, we can so easily DIY these. So check for some of their new ornaments they're doing this year. Now, if you love doing the three tier trays, keep an eye out for some of these little, um, they're, I kind of like to call them like shelf sitters, but they're just the little shorter ones. This one says season's greetings. And this is the little Santa Claus with Merry Christmas. And you guys, these are so, so good. If you're still doing the three tier trays, they just make perfect little accents to them or any of those little smaller spaces like a little bathroom it would be nice to put you know a little Santa Claus in there and the great one about doing Santa if you guys think about this as a theme you can do Santa before and after Christmas throughout that like winter wonderland period you're gonna have in your decor phase now you guys know how much I love my Dollar Tree florals and I'm gonna be doing some poinsettia crafts so I went 
ahead and grabbed a couple bundles of some of these different colors. The new ones to our store actually though were these pretty aqua ones. I think those would be so great for a glam Christmas. They also have pink poinsettias at Dollar Tree. First time I have ever seen them in this shade of that pretty baby princess pink. And then I also grabbed some white ones. We're gonna do some glam crafting, but we're also gonna do some of our traditional crafting with the reds. And then don't snooze on some of these picks. Guys, listen, these are a great deal for a buck. These are so, so nice to pop in to some of your decorations with the little sparkly goodies. They do have some fallout, forewarning, and then some of the Dollar Tree berries. I mean, it's nice to get expensive high-end florals and picks, but if you really love to go over the top and decorate and fill out your arrangements and your trees with some of these things, Dollar Tree for me has always really been my go-to. They're also selling some of the cute little uh, pine cone picks. And so I grabbed, you know, just some we're gonna be crafting with. I mean, think about how pretty these would be in a pretty little planter inside or outside your house with some evergreen in it. So you guys know I love to craft and decorate with all of these kinds of fake florals, um, especially during the winter season. I just think it makes things feel so cozy and happy. So definitely check your Dollar Tree floral section for all of their Christmas goodies. They should be out right now. <laughs> the next thing to keep an eye out for are the Dollar Tree gift boxes. Now they're gonna have probably Probably gift boxes out in your store all season but right now is when you want to go find the really good ones and for me I thought this one was really beautiful for a dollar look at how big it is it says Noel on the front which I'm partial to because my daughter's middle name is Noel and then it has these pretty candy canes around the side and there's just so many things you guys can do with the pretty little gift boxes but it's always nice just to get somebody something and put it in a pretty gift box write a special note just to let them know that you're thinking about them through the holidays these are also nice as decor pieces if you guys just want to kind of set them around and under your Christmas tree. A lot of times I will fill some of my boxes with like packing supplies that I need, um, you know, uh, tape and scissors and some of those things. Slide them underneath my Christmas tree and some of those things will be readily available when I sit down to go ahead and wrap my presents. Just a little FYI. <laughs> and don't forget about the cute little Dollar Tree mailboxes. We're going to do some crafts with these. I did a really fun one for you guys last year with these. So great. Grab one of the larger ones that you love. I picked for this year the one with the little puppy dog and the little red truck. How cute is all of that with all of the detail? He has a little paw in the mailbox. Oh my goodness, this could be so fun to do this one. And then some of the other gift boxes just to share with you guys that were out that I went ahead and grabbed were the little snowmen. Now, I thought that they usually put out three tiers of the sizes. I don't know if maybe some of the smaller sizes were gone, but I had to get these. And then if you want to do something a little bit more classy, um, take this string part off and replace it with some really elegant ribbon and you have your beautiful poinsettia boxes. Another thing that was new to kind of our floral section were these beautiful picks, okay? So these, this is the gold and these are the ones you can kind of pull out and twist and you can really make some of your centerpieces and trees really, really elegant. They had the gold, the white, and then this really beautiful to me rose gold. I'm trying to get this where you guys can see it. There's not a glare, but they're really beautiful, sparkly. I'm guessing there's probably fallout with a lot of the Dollar Tree glitter stuff there is. It just is what it is. But in my opinion, glitter belongs everywhere during Christmas. <laughs> and some other cute little goodies are these little, um, I call them kind of like cookie <laughs> plastic containers. This one has the gnome. Look at how cute the gnomes are on the outside of here. Oh my goodness. And you guys know me, I always go for the gingerbread. I feel like gingerbread are just so cute and so darn stinking happy playing and dancing with each other. How adorable, like seriously, I love, love, love these. Another thing that you may not think about are some of the Dollar Tree vase fillers. These are really, really, really great to craft with, especially if you do crafts and sell them. And I'll tell you why, because when you're making a wreath and you need that pretty little thing to go like right in the center of a bow or just to kind of accent things and fill them in, or when you're doing lantern bow toppers, look at how many options are in this one little pack. And there's Let's see, 20 pieces in this pack. These are just a little secret weapon. I sold on Etsy for a long time. And so, you know, if you wanna do really nice high-end creations, but you wanna like be able to 
not break the bank. It's hard if you go to Hobby Lobby and have to spend tons and tons of money to make one wreath or one project. So I get you guys there. Um, but these have snowflakes and Christmas trees and Santa boots and stars. So there's a lot of different ideas to choose from with those. And then the other thing I want to share with you guys is some of this fun Dollar Tree uh, mini tree topper. How cute is that if you guys want to do like a little farmhouse tree um, or cozy tree and a, like a smaller one um, in an office or a kid's room or whatnot. And then I will tell you, I did pick up several of the Dollar Tree mini trees, which you guys know what they look like. They're like the table topper trees. I got several in the white and several in the green because we are going to craft up a store with those. I didn't have any of those in the, my arsenal, my crafting arsenal in our Dollar Tree. Finally put some out. So keep an eye out for those. Okay. And here were those trees. I was telling you guys about. I didn't want to just not show you because I know sometimes you're like, oh, what trees are she talking about? But they're these. These are the little tabletop Christmas trees. I'm trying to see how big they are. But they're a pretty decent size for what you get. And you can do so many things with them. If you guys go back on some of my I Love Christmas series from the last couple of seasons, I share with you guys so many different ways to decorate and craft with those. <laughs> now, if you guys love a glam Christmas, check out these beauties. I think they're really, really pretty. They're probably not the most sturdy ones, but they almost give me that retro Christmas vibe um, with the little tin and then the poinsettia and then the pretty sparkly thing in the center. I collected retro for a while and I thought that that was kind of similar to some of the ones I used to collect with that. And then, hey, I'm getting my tinsel a tangle here, y'all. I've got this cute little joy ornament. Um, they're putting this whole set out again. So they have the joy in the red and then also the black and white with the um, a little greenery at the top. And I, um, a couple years ago, I mixed and matched these. So you guys can go back and look at that Christmas tree that I did with tons of bows. And I even mixed and matched the red and black check ribbon with the white and black check ribbon. I kind of had it spiraling down my tree. That was a fun thing. And then of course, I love these deer. There's so many things to do with these deer. I feel like they're really elegant and sparkly and you can easily dress them and glam them up with some beautiful jewels. And if you do some fine detail work, with some ribboning. You can make these really, really pretty. Some ornaments also that caught my eye that are new to me or new to my store are these teardrop ornaments. And in a two pack, these are really, really nice. You can do a really kind of fancy traditional tree or even pick these in to some of your other um, goodies. But I love these. I think the shape on these to me is what gives dimension. So you you can do a lot of rounder Christmas balls and then add some of these and it just gives your tree that little bit more of a high end effect. Another thing you guys don't want to snooze on that make excellent, excellent, excellent Christmas tree ornaments are your nutcrackers. I and mean, just use them as nutcrackers as well, but they make really great ornaments and they're so happy and fun. And to me, they bring kind of that like kid-like feel, you know, kind of like the nutcracker um, so I love these. I grabbed these, um, for only a buck. You know, I think their faces are okay. Sometimes Nutcracker's faces are a little bit scary, but I think these are really cute. Some other cute new little signs that I found was this little Merry Christmas shelf sitter or just a little kind of Christmas snow globe. And then the Happy Holidays Snowman one. Um, I thought these were super adorable. These are new to me, to our store. I don't remember them from last year. So keep these on an eye out. And in some of you guys' stores, I don't know how yours are set up, but these are like on a separate kiosk, some of these smaller shelf sitter ones than the normal um, little shelves that you guys have. Although everybody's store is different. I mean, I know everybody stocks their stores differently, but these were on those little kind of separate kiosk ends. Some other ornaments that I spied that are new to me and new to our store are these super adorable pink ornaments. They have like the cute little snowflake on them. And these are the six pack or five pack. Let's see, three or five. And then they have the cute little pink um, little swirly ones. So anyway, super cute. And if you guys are loving to do a pink Christmas or want to do some glam, check this out. <laughs> Another set of ornaments that I highly recommend are some of their larger ornaments. So these are a good deal, even if you get them in packets at Hobby Lobby, in my opinion, but you want to kind of check them out. I love the little sweater ornaments. These were out last year, but I did go ahead and grab a couple of new ones this year because I know Bindi Bear got in a hold of some of them. And then check out this little guy. This one looks, it has like the little um, snowflake detail. They had this in the red and also in the gold, which I grabbed a couple of because I 
probably will do some glam Christmas in my bedroom. <laughs> now Dollar Tree does have this every year, but I really recommend if you love to craft and make wreaths and garlands, this mesh tube can be really fun to use. It gives a different dimension to some of your decor. We are gonna be using it in some of our deco mesh wreaths, you guys. So check this out for only a buck. You can't go wrong. <laughs> some other goodies to check out are these cute little Christmas trees. I love them. They come in a two pack. They're from Cobblestone Village and they have the little green and then they also have the white if you want to do more of a white Christmas or glam. But these are so fun, again, to put in your three-tier trays, to use them in and around your villages. Um, the kids and I used to set up a Christmas village every single holiday season, and we hopefully will do one again this year. Uh, but it was so fun when they were little. It was like magical. They had little Christmas hats they would wear, and they would come help mom set up the little village and put everything out. And it was just really, really a fun time. So check these out. And they also have some little mini houses too. Now here is something that caught my eye are these large Dollar Tree bags. I don't remember them having them be this large from last year, but maybe they were. Um, I grabbed a couple of them. I think that these make really, really great like little decor pieces, especially for kids' rooms. You guys could easily pop them into like a poster picture frame and you would have instant wall art. They had this Santa Claus with holding the candy cane and then they also have Santa and the little Rudolph reindeer driving the little red car with the little um, green uh, Christmas tree in it. I thought that was cute. And then another fun one that I found, this one says Jingle All The Way, and it has like the little red truck and the penguin driving. And I just thought, again, this would make some fun little frameable art if you wanted to do something like that. I just love to like make things feel so festive. And I wanna share those with you guys. You guys know how to do that without like having to spend tons and tons of money. Cause I really think the Dollar Tree for me is where it's at. Now, I know you have to kind of hunt and pick, but don't give up hope. Sometimes I've stopped stop by the Dollar Tree multiple times. I'll even ask your managers, hey, when do you guys get your stock in? When do you set it out? And that'll give you guys a better shot kind of on being able to find things. Now, I know this isn't Christmas, but I did buy this for my bedroom because this is Hey There Pumpkin. And I did decorate my bedroom for fall. And if you guys haven't seen my fall bedroom decorating video, go check that out. But how cute is this? It's not a heavy duty, like heavily trafficked mat. So I have a little um, door in my bedroom. And so I thought this would be so cute to just kind of slide it next to that door. Another fun little goodie that I found was the Dollar Tree wrapping paper. I don't remember these patterns being in, but they caught my eye for some reason. I think that you guys can take your wrapping paper and match it underneath your tree or underneath some of your more decorative trees and use those as decor pieces. So I know everybody gets a lot of Amazon boxes right now. And so you guys can wrap a couple Amazon boxes and some cheap paper, put a cute bow on it. And you honestly have instant decor. I'll even do a couple of fake presents underneath my tree before I get all my real ones done and you can do that to where you wrap the boxes and be able to like um, just set them on top of things anyway I'll show you guys a DIY on that I promise and if you guys need craft paper it's not a bad idea to go ahead and pick up a roll or two of these you can use these to lay down on your tables protect them when you do your gingerbread houses with your family Christmas Eve or just some of that kind of fun stuff I'll also be using these to paint on some and so you guys have something a little bit different to look at probably I'll like lay these out and show my DIYs on top of them um, a fun little ideas on that <laughs> other things you guys might want to keep an eye out for are these pretty little sparkly tea lights. These are nice to have just to kind of sit around and make things look a little bit more fancy. They come in the silver and the gold. I got one pack of those. And then also don't forget about the Dollar Tree ribbon. Now I don't particularly care for this one quite as much because it's not wired, but I do love the pattern on it. So if you need to kind of loop some ribbon in and around your tree, it's not a bad idea. You guys can see Benji Bear went ahead and got into this for me. I mean, there's nine foot on the roll, which isn't a bad deal. And I will use this in some of my crafting. You guys have seen this multiple times. And then I had a couple more quick little things to share with you. So here is part of the little Buffalo Chet plaid um, placemat setting that Dollar Tree put out. Again, it's in their kitchen section. And this says family is everything. I love this. I think this is so, so, so sweet. And then check this out. It has this little matching. So you guys can always sew a couple of these together, make a table runner. If you have messy little kids, you're probably gonna wanna get these plastic ones. Y'all, I remember those days. Not so much now, although my kids can still be messy. Um, and then they even have like the little matching charger if you wanna get crazy. Although these chargers to me, I don't know if they're discolored, don't they look a little bit more brown than the white and black? 
and there were only two. So I probably will use these just like as center pieces for these little guys. And then they also have the Family is Everything tea towel, and then the little Family is Everything matching mat. Now, what I do love too about this black and white, and maybe they've already had this out. I think Dollar Trees are just randomly getting some stuff in. Maybe this isn't new for Christmas. I don't know. I found it just recently. So I kind of felt like, well, this must be like maybe their black and white Christmas. I don't know. Um, but super adorable with the black and white check. It's so, so versatile. If you love farmhouse or even if you love glam and rustic or whatnot, you guys can mix this in. And I feel like checks can always be in because they're always cozy. Okay, you guys. So that is going to be it for this Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys are inspired to pop into your local Dollar Tree and just check out some of the goodies that you might want to use to cozy up your holiday, to cozy up your home. And remember, you don't have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. If you all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home, and I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. I believe you don't have to break the bank to be amazing. And also for everybody that comes back and loves on me, thank you, thank you guys so, so much. You guys are such a blessing and an honor to me. Truly, I love y'all to the moon and back. You make my heart smile when I read your comments. You make my heart smile when you make crafts and share them on my Facebook group page, which is totally free, by the way. If you guys want to pop over to my Love These Your Magic on Facebook page, I would love to have you guys over there. It's just a fun little free group to share photos of your home decor and DIY projects. I'm the person that manages it, and so sometimes I'll get behind on approving posts. Don't freak out. I just have a lot going on and doing all my crafting and decorating and sharing that with you guys. It's just, it's, it's a lot. It's just me. So um, always keep that in mind with any of the videos or posts that you see. If you see a typo or whatnot, hey, it's just me. I am just a crafty mama and um, you might see some big numbers on some of my subscribers and followers, but um, it's still just me. So thank you guys again. I love y'all so, so much. I'm really excited about our holiday season. I'm hoping to at least get one of my big trees up in the studio so I can decorate that for you guys and share with you guys some decorating ideas. Um, I'm going to get all of the craft supplies that I just shared with you guys organized and ready to roll so we can get to crafting. Um, and um, I hope to encourage you guys, if you love to craft, you know, make some pretty wreaths and sell a couple of them as, as a side hustle. Um, I've had people ask me questions on what to price their items at. The best way to know what to price your items at is if you make you know a wreath and you find a similar item um, you might want to price it about the same or maybe a little bit low lower than that if you're just getting started but remember it's hard to go back up on your prices than it is to go back down so you want to sell things you want to keep things moving but you also don't want to um, undercut yourself so there's that to keep in mind and you know really the first year of any little small business it's kind of a lot of trial and error but always do your best work um, always make sure that you trim up your ribbons and if you add the sparkly goodies and that the customer is always right. <laughs> so I love y'all. Thank you so, so much. I can't wait for our next video of crafting and decorating. Until then, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. We'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye. That I love you.